Hello and welcome to Infinity. What we have here is a kind of ordinary sort of picture of a house and so on. And I'm quite happy with this here, but the sky is just white. I could try and cut the sky out and put another one in, but I think maybe there's some texture I can get out of this because you can see a little bit of contrast. So maybe we can amplify that contrast with something. So first of all, let's do a selection. Get the selection brush. And I'm going to paint around the outside here. It will snap quite quickly onto that because I got the snap to edges set. Then I go to refine. And now I can paint around here. And paint in around these. Get the edge. Then paint inside to pick up the bits here. So you do it a bit at a time too to get it because sometimes you find they'll there are bits that it gets wrong so you have to re just go over it again until it looks right. Then for this bring down the size of the brush to kind of suit that and then over here just change the brush size each time so you're kind of covering the area but getting the minimum amount because the bigger the brush the more confused it's likely to get. Okay, that's that will do there. It's a spot there you can be looking at. Okay, apply that. So now I've got this. Now all I'm going to do now is rather than play around the mask, so I'm just going to hit Control C and Control V. So I got myself this on a separate layer. So that's going to sit above the rest. Control D to get rid of it. So to increase contrast, simple way to do that is with curves. And if I just grab the curves and pull this down here, I got the in contrast increasing there um, but however if I go in and look at this now I'm going to see two problems and that is first of all the outline here yeah look at all, all this around things this is because the selection has kind of like blurred across into the the because there's a soft edge into the green there but even worse if you look in the sky here look at this banding here this is because effectively you've taken a lot of colours which were close together and stretched them out and made them further apart so any differences are seen here. And that banding is a, a common problem when you try to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the curves and try another approach, which is to use the tone mapping persona. OK, so here we go. And the very simple approach here is to turn local contrast up and turn compression down. You're going to see a certain amount of banding here but not as much as there was before. And you can even play around with this until you get a, something that's a bit better. But we'll just leave it all up for the moment because we're going to try something else. Because I'm going to apply that. I've now got this in the original picture. And you can see around the edges here it's a lot better. So but I'd like to improve this here a little bit so I can add a little bit of a blur. I'm going to be very careful with this. So a bit of Gaussian blur onto the sky and I turn this up to reduce that effect. But you can see here when you go to halo around here if I click preserve alpha that's going to improve that. So you can look at the leaves here that's pretty good around the leaves as well. And say so if you look at this here if I go too far this is going to go mad. So just a little bit enough to push the the banding so it's not so intrusive so that's a balancing act let's look at the whole thing control zero there you go that's much improved isn't it something you can do as well if um, you want to make that even more contrasty is hit control j and that they change the blend mode to multiply and that darkens that quite a bit and then you can turn down the opacity to something that is kind of realistic and is not showing too many other little problems. But there you go. Got before and after. Certainly added a bit more character to the sky. That's it. Thank you very much for watching.